review, but more or less, I'm going to show you some exercises you can do with the power blocks in your house for building strength, more or less raw strength, and you could say bodybuilding, but I'd say just more kind of strength-based exercises you can do with power blocks at your house. Um, why I like the power blocks, again, I think you guys, if you're looking at this, you might be familiar with the power block, but to me, it's the essential tool uh, for a home gym. If you're getting a home gym and you're more or less focusing and you have the money to spend and you're going to use external loads and you want to use weights especially, uh, I love power blocks. There's all different kinds. I got these. These are probably about maybe 10 years old. These are kind of the, I forget exactly what type these are. These aren't as sturdier as some of the newer models. Um, but uh, I actually kind of like these thinner designs. I can actually grip this stuff. The weight, the total weight on this goes up to 90 with two and a half pound increments locked in. And it's, I had no problems with this stuff. There's a little tiny bit of rusting on this, but otherwise not bad. Uh, I think it's a solid investment for a house. You can buy these in increments, but for the most part, um, I would just, if you're already somebody who's kind of be serious about it, or if you're a female buying it for your, you know, your spouse or vice versa, I would get the full 90. They're, they can even go as high, I think, as 105 or 125 or even 130, I think. And uh, if I didn't have an, a weight that big, I probably would actually spend the money and get that. But 90 is just fine. Uh, again, with all this clipped in, I'm actually going to put it at the 90 setting for right now uh, just to do some of these exercises and workouts. So I'm going to clip it as far down as we can to lock it in. So we got basically 90 pounds in here. And I'm just going to show you some things you can do right here in the house. So as I'm setting this up right here, I'm not the best editor, but whatever the videos, I'm just going to show you straight through. Some of my favorite things to do with these power blocks, and you might need high ceilings. I go on the unfinished part of my basement to do some of the other clean presses. So there's some low ceilings here. So some of the other presses you might have to kind of work with. But some things without it that you can just do raw strength back and forth. I'm going to chain some things together that literally you could cycle all through and make a, a workout literally 30, 40, even an hour workout out of some of these exercises I'm showing right now totally valid to do within one one setting. Uh, keep in mind a lot of these are strength based exercises so you might, it depends on your goals, there's all different periods and schemes on how you would do this but I'm going to show you again pretty much low sets of all this stuff going right into it. So let's so get as high as I can. This one just a basic dumbbell clean. Uh, great strength based exercise, it works everything. I'm just going to show it to you and you kind of show you as we go. I got a low setting the block is literally just like this down below in one full swoop I'm coming up I clean it with this square setting I like how I can just lock it in and keep it secure it's a, I mean it's a heavy opera block but if you're someone who's already been kind of you know lifting some heavy weights before it's definitely controllable the next thing is obviously that clean to a push press uh, I don't know if I'll be able to lock out, you can see it, but we're going to clean it, push press, okay, bring it back down to that rack position, and get re it again. Long more rows, just kind of a long, make your own kind of a body bench, again it's at 90, and I've done many workouts like this where I just leave the 90 pounds on here, and just go to town. So. Again, nice straight back. You can go up as high as you want, but as long as that back is nice, got that nice divot and slope. Heavy rows. The power block. Awkward pressing. I like the grip of the power block. So what I'll do is kind of call this like a suitcase burpee. So from here, I'd go down, I'd squat down into a push up, do that push up, come back up, feet are flat, hips are down, I lift, reset, and go. I could lift again, once I reset, hop, back down, and 
and lift. Uh, something else we can do with these. You can also do a full snatch. Um, I don't know if time if the room is going to allow me in this room, but I'll show it to you really quick. You got another solid one. I'm going to try and clear it before I hit the ceiling. So you can either do this in a swinging motion when I do this, or I can do this in a snatch motion. As I go up, I snatch it up to the top. I'm going to do just kind of a snatch so I can probably clear without hitting the ceiling. So it's a little harder also, So, but try and get use the legs as the primary power. And again, just to preface this stuff, I'm not, these are kind of complex lifts. I'm just giving you guys ideas. Definitely look further at other instruction, the deeper details of this stuff, but just showing you with the solid weight, like the power blocks, the versatility of the weights, what you can do in your own house. Um, from here, I have one low stance. My same arm, same legs going back in one motion. I'm up and back down, reset. That's pretty tough. You do that like eight or ten times for a few sets. Uh, you might not think it's cardio, but you're going to be breathing heavy pretty soon. Another thing we got is the, as I'm thinking as I'm doing this, um, kind of a modified Zerker squat. A Zerker squat, squat traditionally, you have a barbell cross your arms and you do a squat. With the power block, since it's a nice kind of square shaped, actually I mean a circle shaped dumbbells, this is good. But I'm gonna rack this up, hug it underneath my arms like this, do a deep squat, and drive back underneath. I could do a little shoulder action at the bottom, just to kind of work the biceps. But I could go down with a deep squat, curl up with it, same deal from here, deep squat. I'm still square to you, I'm not bending forward. And curl up. Same thing. Enough sets of that. Gets the job done. And I do kind of, I am kind of abusive with this stuff. Uh, I do try and take care of, but there'll be times if I have carpeting or pads, I just throw them on the ground type of deal. Um, they're also great because of the height difference. You could use two power blocks as a extension for, say, something like an overhead um, or like a handstand push-up. So, for instance, I'll take this away, just use the singles or the cores of them. Put them against the wall so you can get some, you can get some depth. From here, again, just a nice deep handstand push-up. Again, you can get a few degrees deeper in that one. There's a lot of stuff with this stuff, and I can do a lot more videos with these as well, and a lot more suggestions, but that's just, I'm messing around down here. I figured you guys might could, be, could benefit from some of this stuff, but those core lifts I just did with maybe, I mean, really those core lifts I just did would be an awesome workout uh, for doing just those few in a short amount of time. So obviously you can go to the traditional stuff, uh, chest presses and things like that, but a lot of times I'll just use these for the primary weights and just do kind of strength lifts for that stuff. So any questions, let me know. And again, I highly, highly encourage you guys to invest in power blocks. And the great thing is too, you can buy them in different spaces. So, you know, if you're not that strong yet, you can buy a little block, just whatever increments they go in. And as you get stronger, buy the increasing block. So they last forever made in the United States. They are something you could definitely pass down once they're done. And uh, I think they have a 10-year guarantee or warranty on them. So any questions, uh, that's it. Thanks. All right, what's up, you guys? We're going to do a quick review, but more or less, I'm going to show you some exercises you can do with the power blocks in your house for building strength, more or less raw strength. And you could say bodybuilding, but I'd say just more kind of strength-based exercises you can do with power blocks at your house. Um, why I like the power blocks, again, I think you guys, much, if you're looking at this, you might be familiar with the power block, but to me, it's the essential tool uh, for a home gym. If you're getting a home gym and you're more or less focusing and you have the money to spend and you're going to use external loads and you want to use weights especially, uh, I love power blocks. There's all different kinds. I got these. They're probably about maybe 10 years old. These are kind of the 
forget exactly what type these are. These aren't as sturdier as some of the newer models. Um, but uh, I actually kind of like these thinner designs. I can actually grip this stuff. The way 